Hi, welcome back to the channel. As a couple of you may have seen on social media, uh, not that long ago I decided to upgrade our signal finder uh, to this version. The version that's in my caravan up to now is the V2 and this is actually the V5. This one actually comes with uh, a little light system. So as you're adjusting your antenna, the light goes from red to amber to green and it, it makes life so much easier. I'll put a link in the description to this, it's not an affiliate link, in the description to buy one of these off Amazon. Um, they're not really a cheap product, but they just make life so much easier than having to use your mobile phone to find your CV signal. I've disconnected this and obviously put it in the packaging for the purpose of this video because a couple of you said are they easy to fit so I thought well I'll take it out again and show you how easy they are to fit. All you're going to need to change this if it's all if you've already got one installed and you're just an upgrade and then this video might help you. Um, as for installing one with the wires that come with it, well that's a different story. This is just a straightforward swap from the V2 to the V5, this one. Uh, it is pretty straightforward. You, basically you're disconnecting your old one and just replacing it with this one. You don't need to mess with any feeding wires through etc etc. Uh, so this video is just for people that want to upgrade to this from a V2 or a previous model. So what tools are you going to need? Well, you're going to need a, 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 your drill, 3mm drill bit, and a posi screwdriver, or a Phillips, whichever you want to call it. Some people call it a posi, some people call it a Phillips. Right, so I've already taken a screw out here. Um, you've got your, your power in. That comes from the antenna itself. This is the front TV point and the rear TV point. You may only have one in your caravan. It just depends if you've got a TV point in the back of your caravan. So basically all you're doing is disconnecting all those connections there and then reattaching them to the points on there. As you can see, this one's actually got three TV points. Um, you've also got a radio connection as well. Um, but basically you've still got the power, your TV input, inputs and your antenna in. So what we're going to do now is, I've already taken one screw out of there as you can see, but it's just a case of basically twisting these. In fact that screw's come out. We'll take that screw out. It's just a fiddly job with it being in the cupboard. So there you go, you just, you just unscrew them, pop the power out, and there it is there, disconnected. Right, to reconnect all your wires, just be careful you don't bend the little pin inside there. So push that in, tighten it up. Which is easier said than done. There you go. If you saw the position I'm in now, you'd understand. <laughs> this is not easy for a big guy like me. I'm actually in the cupboard. So your antenna in. There's two TV ports. There's actually TV1. So you put the wire in the hole, tighten up, let's try to so I did say these were easier to fit, easy to fit, it just depends on where your Vision Plus can air box is I suppose. TV2 wire in the hole and trying to do this with arthritis as well doesn't help Right, 
there you go, they're all in. So antenna in, TV1 which will be the front in my case, TV2 which will be the back, and then it's just a case of plugging the power in and we just need to put the two screws in, which we'll, we'll do now. Through the hole, obviously I've already marked mine out. How I did mine was I did that side first and then I put my drill bit through that hole and made a little mark. Just be very, very careful when you're drilling this hole that you don't go through your outside skin, otherwise there will be trouble. So just be careful when you drill that hole. So it's just a case of finding the hole, which I think I've just found it. say this is easy didn't I? It is an easy job it's just awkward because of uh, I've had to position a camera and a light as you can see which keeps getting in the way. Right I'll tighten that up tighten that up in a minute so you basically get the idea so once all that's now screwed in all connected up power on and as you can see a light comes on it's a bit pale at the minute so I'll reposition undo me aerial Push the aerial up, so as you can see the aerial's up in the up position, you can see the green light and as you turn, and as you turn, we've got a very very strong signal here so it's actually permanently green, yeah we've got a very good signal here. In fact, it, it's just gone really bright there. So that's basically what you do. You just turn your aerial until the light goes very, very green. You've actually got a boost button, a boost gauge as well. You can actually turn that up as well. So that's basically it. Job done. So there you go. I did say it was an easy job, but in essence it is quite an easy job just where mine is in the cupboard I'm, I'm reaching in like that and it, it, it wasn't easy for me but basically it's an easy job it's just a straight exchange you're just changing the wires unscrewing it putting your new one on screwing that one on putting your wires on and that's, that's essentially it nice straight easy exchange um i would have liked to have shown you the difference in the colors in the uh the light as you're adjusting your aerial but it's a, a, a really good signal here no matter where I point the aerial it, it's green so there's not much I can do about that unfortunately um, I may do a follow-on video and show you on site with a weaker signal it'll like change in color when you turn the aerial around uh, so yeah that that was the vision plus upgrade from the v2 to the v5 Hopefully you found that useful. I know a couple of you said, are these easy to fit? Apart from the location of the box, yes, they are easy to fit. Um, if you wanted to do the full wiring, um, that's probably gonna be a lot more complex. You'd have to feed TV, digital cables through to, uh, uh, you'd have to install a TV point. I'm just fortunate in the caravan, it's already got one front and back, so it made life a hell of a lot easier. So hopefully you found that useful. So 
like always thank you so much for watching if you liked the video and found it helpful give us a thumbs up um thanks for watching please consider subscribing it really helps the channel grow and helps with the analytics of youtube um so thanks very much for watching and until next time ta -ra.